Sony released a brand new Morbius poster that many of you have asked me to talk about because, well, I haven't talked about it and I wasn't really gonna talk about it because I don't really care. And I actually replied to a couple comments and people were upset because I like Morbius, which I genuinely do. One of my favorite Marvel characters, I would say. So they're wondering why I should automatically have to love this film and talk about everything in it. So let's just talk about that and the actual poster itself. Okay, so first up, let's just talk about this poster and oh, why it is what it is. And honestly, why this thing is kind of confusing and why I think some people wanted me to talk about it and what Sony's trying to pull off here. So first and foremost, yes, we see it's about Morbius, right? That's the thing here. But subliminally, here's what they're telling you. And subliminally, your brain picked up on this. Maybe you just can't admit it to yourself, but... They're trying not to sell this as something that's connected more to Venom and something that's more of a Sony product. They are almost falsely advertising this as something that's directly connected to Spider-Man and the MCU. The first big one here is a new Marble Legend arrives, Morbius. Where's the Sony branding? Where is it? Or in association? We don't see any of that on this. Very interesting when you think about that, right? Second, everybody pointed out this A over here. We know what they're doing. We can see what they're doing. People, when it says Marvel, when there's a glowing A, subliminally, mentally, you just think Avengers, MCU. That's why it's there. There it is. Even people in the comments replying to this poster were going, oh wait, is that a hint? Is that an Easter egg? Come on. They've even managed to hide the Sony logo almost completely and obscure it so you don't see it because this is intentional. This is their intent. That's why they put the murder thing in there. And that's why they put the vulture in there. That's why they're trying to tease the whole thing with, you know, no, I'm Venom because they want you to think that this is somehow playing into the bigger picture. And maybe it is, maybe it's not, but again, it's very deliberate. Now let's talk about me being a fan of Morbius, a big fan of Morbius. Again, I've talked about this before. My first ever Spider-Man comic I got in the United States featured Morbius on it. Saw him that weekend as well in the Spider-Man cartoon, automatically an imprinted on me. I want to know everything about Morbius. So I love the character. You know, I read the Morbius comics when he's in them. That's just how it is. But I don't have to love everything he's in. You guys understand that? You can be a fan of something and not automatically have to love it just because it exists. I can love Aquaman and I don't have to worship at the altar that is Jason Momoa and the Aquaman film. I can point out that in many ways they made Aquaman more Namor in that film than Aquaman. Again, it's just how it is. You don't have to just bend over backwards and do mental gymnastics to convince yourself that you have to love something just because you love the thing it's based on. And I did this a lot. I did this for a long time because it's all I had. You know, it's all many of us had at one point. The early Resident Evil films and the first two Transformers, I convinced myself that those were good films, that they were great because that's all I had based on the franchises I loved. But at some point, I just kind of said, you know what? No, as a fan, I deserve better. And I don't have to love this just because it's the only thing based on the thing I love. And that's how I'm approaching Morbius. I'm going to see the film. I'm not saying I'm not going to. Of course I'm going to see it. It's Morbius. But there's just something that seems off about every single thing about it that doesn't sit right with me. It almost feels like they are intentionally, for some reason, trying to trick people. And I don't like that. That just doesn't work with me. And that makes me worry. Maybe it's a good film. I, I think it's honestly going to be better than both Venom films. But again, something just feels off to me and it makes me question what are they trying to pull and what's the purpose? 